Hey folks, PC7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Farm Sim 17. I have a map review for you today. This is a Romanian based map. It is called Racovita by Sir PCV. So here's our spawn point. Nice little house. A little uh, lacking on the window side. Must be a cold climate to this part of the world. This is a Romanian-based map, by the way. I might have actually already said that. <laughs> huh? Quite the dump truck. Ooh, a pair of them. I wonder what they're up to this morning. Anyway, let's us have a look about. Nice little gazebo to meet with all your friends. As you can see, there are gold nougats on the map. And right behind the house is the farm. Now, I hope the audio is okay on this today, guys. But, uh, for some reason, woke up this morning with a plugged ear, so I'm only hearing out of half of my head. Yeah. I know, I can barely do surround, and now i got a nutty no stereo anymore. <laughs> Alright, so here we've got our silos. Fairly uh, obvious, I suppose, that. Ah, carry on. Ooh, nice. It's always a handy thing to have, a place for storing all those tools. They end up scattered all over the farm. There's a decent shed with some gear going on. We get, uh, what do we got here? Fertilizers? Alrighty. Nice little shed with some more kit in it. Whoops, you smacked in the face. <laughs> there's our cedars. Awesome. So yeah, there's uh, quite a bit of uh, available storage. We've got seeds on this side. If we continue over here, we'll find our chickens. Oh, look what they've done. Well, thank you, dear. Yes, you should be proud. A little dance and walk away, and we have an egg. <laughs> so there's the chickens. We have, uh, you do start the map with a bunch of critters. I'll show you here. Oh, there we are. Uh, kind of odd numbers. 27 sheep, 16 pigs, and 36 cows. <laughs> All right, and here's a, a quick look at the map. As you can see, it is a rather unique thing. Now, we own three fields, and they're sort of our more traditional-looking thing back here on the... Uh, on the right side of the farm and then we have these fields 1 through 15 oh we also own field 15 I just noticed that I thought we only owned these guys huh. well there you are so we get a shot at one of these long and lovelies as well okay we have four cell points a respectable amount including one rail export so and it looks again that they are, except for the specialty guys, of course, it does appear that they uh, they all share the product list, simply being competitors with each other. And indeed, 11-2 uh, for wool. I've seen better, but I've seen worse. So, there you go. We have our... Ah, there's that hard-working boy. Way to go, buddy. I don't think I've ever actually had an egg that quick into a, a review. Here's the... Okay. Um, I'm not sure, considering that all of the uh, appropriate animals have appropriate sounds, but there's two places on this map where this incredibly loud pig noise has been added. Um... It's very unrealistic, and it's rather annoying. But there you go, there's the pigs. Um, no water trough, no grazing mod. So, unfortunately, those did not make this one. Now, this is, and I need to stress this, this is a beta mod. So, we are subject to change. Now, we already know that all the cows and stuff are fine, so we don't actually need to buy any. So, there's our meadow. Awesome. And right over on this side, we have our sheeps. And they are all functional as well. There's our wool pickup point. There's the food, there's the water, 
And right up to having the water trailer right there. Here's our purchase point for the cattle. Alrighty, straw and such over here. And a little bit more storage behind the place. Now there was no indicator that there's any stop milk sale or anything like that going. And we have our slurry, etc. back here. So, so yeah, I think if you want to sell your milk, um, you probably need to do so with the help of the stop milk mod. Alright. Uh, okay. There's also, right here, a silage pit for your cows. Just in case you missed it on the way by. There we go. Decent sized silage pit. So that's all the crit errors. Mm-hmm. It's funny, it's uh, kind of a modern looking farm in a not so modern looking backdrop very interesting all right let's uh let's go see what we can see i think that uh they've left me a truck around here somewhere isn't that my house why can't i get there <laughs> oh i guess it's not actually because there's no vehicle oops See what happens? I don't even know where I live anymore. Oh, it's so sad. Alright. <laughs> and here we have our truck. Alright. And right across the road from the farm, we zoom. We not only have our spot for dropping hay, which is next door, actually. But this area here for placeables, kind of nice. A large area, even the uh, corn distillery would fit there. All right, and then just up beside it, a nice looking little village. We have our spot to disposing of the haze. There we go, right in here, and cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Hmm. This is kind of neat. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting indeed. Alright, let's zoom way out so we can get a good view. I like the traffic. It's not just a bunch of uh, modern looking cars. There's some neat stuff going on there. All right, really nice little water feature. Some old fellow fishing on the end of the little island there. Okay, oh, that's not the entrance, unless you're walking. But here's our BGA. Okay, so definitely have to either get yourself a ramp or be sure that you've got a uh, wheel loader down here to do the deed. There's the biogas digester. Yeah, we've got all of our many, many, many <laughs> silage pits. Here's our digesters. So fairly, uh, fairly typical baga for the most part. And there's where I thought I could get in. Ah, look at it. Little MTZ tractor with a little tiny plow cruising down the road. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, a good map for uh, digging out some of that uh, East European kit. Hmm. Very nicely done. And, of course, just out of curiosity, what is our truck weigh today? Nine hundred and seventy-nine pounds. Interesting. <laughs> or maybe that's kilos. I, I, that would be much more believable. Still not right, I don't think, but certainly much more believable. 
Alright. Um. Okay, I think we can take advantage of this back road area. That is a pretty little water feature, actually. Oh, there's another island there. Oh, that's kind of cool. Now, can we actually pick up water here? I don't know if this shows that. No, it doesn't. Okay. I wasn't sure it would. I'm not sure about water pickup like this, like if you just back the trailer in. So. Hmm. There you are. Lovely big meadows. Wow. No issues there, I'll tell you. Oh, was that for sale? Or is this just a bit of vertizing? Ah, okay, it is then. Uh, maybe this was, uh, you know how some of the maps have little real estate symbols and stuff to uh, buy fields? I thought maybe that was just a exuberant form thereof. Alright, so here we have the SC... Uh, can't quite make them out because of the uh, covering on them. But it is the Grania SRL, I believe, is what that particular one was. Hmm. As well as the uh, Fabrica de Cover, um, Aladdin's Woolery. <laughs> is also in there by the looks of it. So, we've got this guy for a tip point, and they accept pretty much Haberitang. Although, oddly enough, it's not showing it there. And they're showing it inside this huge building. Uh, okay, I think those markers might be off by just a hair. Yeah, because we're certainly not going to be getting into here anywhere. Hmm. So that would definitely be the tip. Oh, look. I can run faster than you can. Rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> All right, now there should be a tip point for the wool here somewhere. But trying to use the... Uh, the actual markers on the maps doesn't seem to be working too well. Are these openable? No, they're not. Eh? Okay. Hmm. Well. Alright, well, I'm assuming that one's next door, then. Is what the deal is, is it's just a little bit further over the fence. Yeah, that makes more sense. Here we are, Aladdin's Wool. Alrighty. Or whatever that uh, comes up to be. All right, what's this? Oh, no parking. We will tow you. So here's our point here. Awesome. All righty. So that's that place. There's the giant bronze bull. Seen that one on a few maps. I think that's originally from Sosnoka, isn't it? <laughs> And usually he hangs around just where this guy is, which is to say, somewhere close to where you can either buy and or sell your animals. In this case, right here. Oops. And he manages to just about tear the front bumper off his truck. Beautiful. There we go. There's our point de sale. Huh. Again, how unfortunate there is no, uh, no actual critters at the sale point. Hmm. In 
interesting structures here. Now, this one isn't marked on the mini-map. Yeah, ah, it's for loading a train, apparently. Is it marked on the bigger map? No. Huh. Alrighty. Alrighty. Alright, let's find our way out of here. Wham! Them Duke boys are at it again. Alrighty. So. Okay, we don't own 17. But we do own 16. Let's see if we can uh, get ourselves a price. Oh, look, they do actually have little signs. So I wasn't that far off. Anybody want to phone that number? <laughs> All right, so, wow. Very, very cheap. 54K for uh, two and a quarter hectares. Wow. That is a nice price. Good on them, man. Not gouging anybody in this part of town. And again, of course, now we're between the uh, placeables and the farm. So, let's see here. Let's just carry on. Again, get way zoomed out so that we can appreciate the beautiful scenery. Hmm. It is actually rather nice. Okay, I'm a... Got to say, I'm starting to be a fan of that faster traffic mod. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. What a pretty little village. Huh. What a pretty little village. Very cool. So here's our gas station. Hmm. Apparently diesel sells for the same price as... Uh, low-grade regular fuel. Now, oh, okay, I have no idea. I was just going to say, I, I would imagine that this is liters being a European country, but I have no idea what the, uh, the currency there would be. Like, we're currently in Canadian dollars at $1.47 a liter. At least the last time I had a look it was. So, just wondering how that compares with that, if anyone knows the, uh, Romanian equivalency exchange on fuel to dollar ratios let me know down in the comments so wow <laughs> I wonder if you can do that with a harvester if you buy one here <laughs> so here's our shop and uh, very shoppy looking gotta admit with all of the sponsors and logos everywhere there we are a little clearer view of it so and a bank machine of course gotta have an ATM Helps you spend those hundreds of thousands of... Whoa, okay, that was a bit of an odd angle. Hundreds of thousands of dollars on all the cool kit. That is such a hill. Look at this. I swear his rear bumper drags. Oh, very close. <laughs> anyway, um... Let's see what else we can come up with here for points that interest. We have one more down here. I suppose we should slow down. There's peoples everywhere. What is that? Squad. No idea. No idea. I'm on the wrong side of the road, too, aren't I? <laughs> wow. It is quite the village. Okay, we looks like we have another uh, possible placeables area there. Interesting. And we have the uh, ooh, drive into the telephone pole area. Oh, it looks like uh, a farmer's market. Very cool. Right on. What do we got for sale at the farmer's market? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. General hubbub. Not a lot of buying going on. Lots of people wandering around looking at stuff, though. 
All right. Well, very neat. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Except, of course, in Romanian. And here we have Mora's place. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. I have, uh, I'm sure, offended pretty much every language on the planet by now playing this game. So I'm going to uh, be nice and hope the Romanians still like me. There we go. So another tip point takes general goods, I do believe. Alrighty, now. Okay. Why do I have a feeling that's probably a rail line? Yeah. That's exactly what goes on here. I assure you we will not come out the other side of that tunnel. However, it looks like there is a nice parallel road. That's always good. Just give you guys an idea of these strips, eh? Isn't that something? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet there's no conflict with hired workers when the fields are this far apart. <laughs> yeah, wow. That is quite a setup. So let's see what we end up doing here, shall we? Wow. So nine and a half for 230. Okay, these are big strips, eh? <clears throat> This one's even, oh, maybe three times the size. So this should be well over the million dollar mark. Incredible. No, really. This field's a better deal than the one beside it, I think. 17 hectares. Wow. Yeah, you better be giving us a... And look at that. We can make uh, 91k, but it's like a three-hour mission. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is just savage, man. A three-hour harvest mission. All right. And here is where we can uh, load the train, apparently. Hmm. Great cheer. Or unload the train, I guess. Ah, uh, okay, this is a sale point for grains that the train may or may not bring. I gets it. Alrighty then. What have we missed? Well, we haven't been to Wood X, have we? Let's visit there, shall we? Okay. Well, puts you in the forest at Wood X anyway. So here we go. Yes, there is, uh, of course, forestry on the map. And this is our facilité. So here we've got our train loader. I would assume this one works. It looks like a functional. Yep, it is. Okay. Not all of them are. Some of them are put in for show, so it's always nice to know. So we've got our usual. There's our wood chipperies. We should have logs down here. There's your sawmill dog. Hello, old puppy. Yes, what a good dog. Alrighty. So, there's our log tip. Or I suppose we can use the pond. Ah, nice day for a little swim. Unless you're a log, of course. Alrighty, so that's that. Interesting. And if we go next door, <laughs> doggy go, man. <laughs> ah, the back of the BGA, is it? No, but not quite. Not quite. Such a tall fence, I can't jump. Oh, there we go. Hello, kitty. <laughs> oh. Yep, yeah, it's just like a cat, isn't it? <laughs> totally doesn't pay any attention to you because they see a bug 180 meters away that they're determined to have at. Alright, interesting. I guess we have... 
Oh, you don't need to add the giant buzzing flies. We know it's poop. Alright, so here we have apparently slurry of manure sales. Alrighty. And I think... Yeah, the eco plant, as they call them. What's the matter, booty? No plaintive little cry. Uh, I think that's it, guys. I think we have pretty much traversed the map. So there you are. What an interesting and unusual map. I gotta say, I quite enjoy it. You know? And just enough of a, a little bit of a roll to these fields that they're not, uh, you know, even though they are perfectly rectangular, they don't feel unnatural. That's uh, really well done. Really, really well done. So again, it is Rakovita. It is available on the beta section of the Giants Mod Hub. Ooh, we have a forestry tower over here. And it is done by a map monitor, Sir PCV. So, hope you all enjoyed, guys. If you have suggestions, ideas, comments, etc., well, they've left a conveniently large space down below the video for that. I can hear wolves howling. Well, actually, they almost sound more coyote-like, to be honest with you. But, there you go. Here we are. And a gold nugget! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Perfect. All right, folks. Till next time. Take care of each other. And ciao for now. Take my work light home. <laughs>